Hey everyone, in this brief video we're going to take a look at creating virtual local area networks or VLANs using BOSUN NetSIM. We're going to create our own topology and configure it with our own devices so we won't be using any existing labs. Let's go ahead and put the lab tree away and go to the NetMap tab and we're going to create a new topology. So I'm going to go up under the main menu here and choose NetMap and then New Topology. This topology is going to contain a switch and a number of PC workstations. So I'm going to click on Add Device and from the list of available devices that I have I'm going to choose a 2960 which is a typical layer 2 access switch. I'll use the 8 port model here. That'll be plenty for our needs. And I'm going to give it the name of HQ. And in addition to the switch we're going to need some PC workstations. I'm going to add 6 so I'm going to go right back over to Add Device and down in the other devices category I'm going to select a Windows PC and we're going to be simulating a network for a fictitious organization that has several departments so we're going to create a couple of PCs in the accounting department and we'll add a couple of more for the marketing department and finally a couple of more for the human resources department Now that we have all the devices that we're going to need on the topology, let's begin creating Ethernet connections from each PC to the switch. To create those connections, we're going to go to each PC workstation one by one and right click and choose New Connection. And to review the connections that we've made, we can go to the switch, give it a right click, and choose to look at existing connections. And we'll see that we began connecting to Fast Ethernet 01, the next PC was connected to Fast Ethernet 02, and so on, all the way down to Fast Ethernet 06 for our last PC in the Human Resources Department. That completes the design of our topology, so let's go up under the main menu and save it. So I'm going to choose NetMap and then Save Topology. It doesn't matter what you call it or where you save it as long as you know where you put it so you can come back and find it later. And I'm just going to call this one VLAN.top. Now that we have created the topology and saved it, we need to load the topology into the simulator so that we can begin to configure the devices. So once again, NetMap and then Apply Selected Topology. We can see that the topology has now been applied. If you look down in the console window, you can see that the, uh, the first device console tab has taken on the name of our switch. And you can see that all of the switch interfaces have changed their state to up. So now we can go and begin to configure the switch and all of the connected workstations. My next task is going to be to open up a console window for each of the devices in the topology so that I can go through the configuration. I've already got a console window open for HQ as you can see. So I'm going to begin with the PC workstations and you'll see that I can just right click on each one and choose configure in simulator and that'll open up a console window for that device. So now I have all my console windows open and we can begin configuring the devices. Let's now configure an IP address and a subnet mask on each of our PC workstations. In BOSUN NetSIM, we don't simulate the Windows desktop, so to apply IP addresses and subnet masks to PCs, we do it a little bit differently than you would do on a Windows computer. We're going to use the IP config command, and we're going to use an option on IP config that is unique to BOSUN NetSIM, which is slash IP, and then we'll supply the IP address and the subnet mask that we want to use. I'm going to configure all of these workstations in the 192.168.10 network with a 255.255.255.0 mask. So if the IP address for our first PC is going to be 192.168.10.1 with a mask of 255.255.255.0. So now let's configure IP addresses on our remaining workstations 192.168.10.2.3 dot four, dot five, and dot six. I've configured all of those IP addresses, so let's go back and check. Accounting one, we have 192.168.10.1 for our second PC in the accounting department. We have 192.168.10.2. 192.168.10.3. 192.168.10.4. 192.168.10.5. 
marketing 192.168.10.3 and dot four and human resources 192.168.10.5 and dot six. If we have configured everything correctly up until this point, we should be able to go to our first PC in the accounting department and issue a ping to the other PCs and get successful replies from each. Let's give that a try. It looks like all of our pings were successful, so now we have complete connectivity among all of the devices in our network.